Did you know that San Marino is not only one of the smallest countries in Europe, but in the entire world? Nestled within Italy, San Marino boasts the title of being the oldest sovereign state on the globe, constituting itself as a republic with a unique government and way of life. Have you ever heard of any country that holds presidential elections every six months? Join me on this journey to discover 41 curiosities about this European corner. The Republic of San Marino, also known simply as San Marino, is a microstate located in the northeast of the Apennine Mountains. With a territorial extension of 61 square kilometers, it is classified as the fifth smallest country in the world and the third smallest in Europe. Its capital is the city of San Marino, situated on the top of the western part of Mount Titano. The official language of San Marino is Italian, and thanks to the open border between Italy and San Marino, people from both countries can cross it easily without the need for formalities. If they wish to have their passport stamped as a souvenir, a small fee of 5 euros is charged. The highest point in San Marino is Mount Titano, also known as Mont Titan, a majestic Apennine mountain that reaches 739 meters above sea level. In 2008, Mount Titano was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and its name was changed to Historic Center of San Marino and Mount Titano. This area covers 55 hectares and includes not only the mountain itself, but also the historic city of San Marino. Mount Titano features three distinct peaks, each of which is crowned by one of the famous towers of San Marino, Guaita, Sesta, and Montal. They say that in San Marino, there are more cars than people, with an impressive ratio of 1,299 cars per 1,000 inhabitants. Despite being one of the smallest countries in the world and Europe in size, with 551 inhabitants per square kilometer, San Marino is considered one of the most densely populated countries globally. It's important to note that San Marino is not a member of the European Union. One of the most popular sites among foreign visitors in San Marino is its caves, which offer winding passages and fascinating underground lakes. The inhabitants of San Marino are called Samarineses. Additionally, the country is home to a rich variety of unique animals, including Italian tree frogs, ivy-leaved toads, black locusts, wall butterflies, crested porcupines, European blackbirds, European goldfinches, and European hummingbird hawk moths. These features make San Marino a peculiar and attractive destination for nature and culture enthusiasts. San Marino is famous for hosting the San Marino Moto GP motorcycle racing event, which takes place at the Marco Simoncelli World Circuit, located near the country. The Republic of San Marino does not have its own airport or international base. Visitors who wish to travel to the country use nearby airports in the region, such as Rimini Airport, also known as Rimini Miramar Airport, or Federico Fellini Airport. This airport is conveniently located just 10 miles from the city of San Marino. The electricity used in San Marino is imported from the Italian power grid. According to San Marino's constitution, the country has the right to elect its legislative body, the Grand and General Council, every six months. Two representatives called Captains Regents are elected and hold the same rights and powers during their term in office. A culinary delight emblematic of San Marino is the torta, a traditional cake made with layers of biscuits bound together by hazelnut or chocolate cream. This delicacy is considered the national dish of the country and is enjoyed by both residents and visitors. San Marino is recognized as one of the most prosperous countries in the world. Its economy is highly diversified, with a significant reliance on sectors such as banking, tourism, and the manufacturing and export of ceramics, paints, clothing, fabrics, alcoholic beverages, tiles, wine, and furniture. Despite its compact size, the country hosts an impressive 12 public museums and six private ones, each contributing to its rich cultural heritage. Among them, the State Museum, the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, the Museum of Ancient Arms, and the Museum of Natural History stand out. The official currency of the Republic of San Marino is the euro, making commercial transactions and tourism more convenient for visitors. Despite being a small landlocked country, San Marino is renowned for its production of delicious wines, offering travelers the opportunity to savor these local treasures. The most famous and sought-after wine is the Brugnetto di San Marino, 
a blend containing 85% of the Sangiovese grape variety and 15% of selected local grapes from the best harvests. In addition to this, other notable wines worth tasting are Tisano, Biancale, and Roncal, a unique experience for wine lovers visiting the country. During World War I, Italy cut all telephone connections with the Republic of San Marino due to suspicions of harboring Austrian spies and enabling access to the radio telegraph station. If you are planning to visit San Marino and your stay is less than 30 days in a hotel or guest house, I have good news for you. You do not need a visa to visit the country under these conditions. However, if you intend to stay in a private residence, you must inform your stay to the foreigner's office of the local police within 24 hours of arrival. If you are going to work, you will need to apply for a work visa, which is issued only for certain categories of workers. San Marino is a country where Christianity is the dominant religion. Existing since 301 AD, San Marino is recognized as the oldest sovereign state in the world. The Republic of San Marino honored Abraham Lincoln with honorary citizenship due to the sad and difficult situation that the United States faced in 1861. In gratitude for this kind gesture, Lincoln wrote a letter to the captain regent of the country, part of which says, I thank the Council of San Marino for the honor of citizenship they have conferred upon me. Though your dominion is small, your state is nevertheless one of the most honored in all history. The Museum of Torture is another attraction that draws visitors in San Marino. It is a museum that displays over 100 tools used to punish people suspected of various crimes, including witchcraft or conspiracy. Most of the tools found in this museum are original and date back to the 16th and 17th centuries, while some have been reconstructed to resemble the original tools. The Republic of San Marino has the oldest constitution in the world, which continues to govern the country to this day. Known as Leges Statutae, the constitution was written in 1600, consisting of six books, and is written in Latin. If you wonder about famous personalities from San Marino, here is a list of some names. Massimo Benigni, Manuel Poggiali, Valentina Moneta, Aldo Junior Simensin, Alessandro De Avale, Federico Valentini, Nicola Cavele, among many others. These are just a few examples of notable citizens who have left their mark in the history of this unique country. In San Marino, abortion is considered a punishable act, and both women who undergo it and those who assist them, including doctors and nurses, can face sentences of three to six years in prison. Therefore, it is a sensitive and restricted issue in the country. When visiting San Marino, be sure to try its unique local dishes, such as fagioli con la cotiche, a tasty Christmas bean and bacon soup, pasta e sessi, a delightful chickpea-based dish, and garlic and rosemary-infused noodle soup. Herbazone is another popular dish, featuring spinach as its main ingredient, combined with cheese and onions. And of course, you can't miss piadina, a flatbread stuffed with various interesting and delicious ingredients. San Marino boasts a high-quality public health care system with highly qualified medical professionals. Citizens enjoy free medical care, making the country one of the top providers of health care in Europe. Economically, the Republic of San Marino primarily exports its products to countries such as Italy, Russia, France, Romania, the United States, and Germany. San Marino's defense force is one of the smallest in the world, and the country heavily relies on Italy for its defense and security. Def the literacy rate in San Marino is high, thanks to the offering of free education for children up to 14 years of age. This commitment to education contributes to a well-educated population. If you're in San Marino and looking for adventures, you can visit the San Marino Adventure Park. In this natural park, there is a variety of outdoor activities to enjoy. You can walk on the Tibetan Bridge, ride a cable car, go through an exciting tunnel, play airsoft in the jungle, and participate in the Robin Hood Adventure, which is an archery area. If you're planning to visit San Marino, it's recommended to learn some basic phrases of the local language. For example, Buona notte means good night. Arrivederci translates to goodbye. Come sta means how are you. And bene, cozy cozy, non ti mal translates as good, so-so, not bad. There are many other useful phrases you can learn. 
but these will certainly help you in interactions with the locals. The favorite sport of the San Marinese people is football, and the country's national team is known as the San Marino Football Federation. Additionally, other popular sports practiced include motorsports, baseball, basketball, volleyball, and rugby. Thank you for following along. Share with us your favorite fact about San Marino in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel. We look forward to hearing your thoughts.